Okay, so like you see the, you might see a blurry image here. Don't, don't, don't freak out. Don't freak. Don't, don't. You're freak. You're freaking out. Stop freaking out. All right. Well. Well. <laughs> so it turns out, even if you get the materials, brewing just takes so long, and I get like three at a time. So I'd have to do it. 20 times it's like a multi-minute process and it's just so boring alchemy is so boring the only time it's like mildly curious the when you do it once for the first time ever of that recipe the moment it's like do it twice in a row which happened that one once during that one hospital quest thing that was already like oh fuck this already sucks so i can't even imagine doing it 20 times so I gave up on that. So instead, I'm here in Ritai at the Potion Dude. Uh, so first of all, I went around all of Ritai and I lockpicked absolutely every door I could ever find in the entire town. So now my lockpicking skill is is my highest skill. Uh, I got up to 15. So 16 now, but that happened later. I got up to 15, and that's because in the Potion Place, every single chest here is super high level lockpick. I think 15 might be the maximum lockpick level for being able to open lockpicks. So I finally got that. So I can, lock, I can lock, open every lockpick door here. And I think I might be able to open every door everywhere now. Like, I'm not even joking about that. And I have been doing that here over and over again forever. And now I'm at 16 as a result because I've been acquiring those cockerel potions. I'm up to 55, and I'm just stealing from him from the same guy over and over again. So that, that previous comment I had about it being under the gun time limit wise, we're about to show how true or not true that was because I've, I've it's been weeks now. Uh, I'm also keeping all the other potions that aren't listed as stolen, which is a surprisingly large number of them for some reason sometimes, but other times not. I don't know why. Some of them are counted kind of stolen, some of them aren't. This is everything that's counted kind of as stolen is dropped on the floor. And every book, because I don't... They're, they're books. They're heavy. And they're only worth 50. And screw it. And, like, antlers and crap. But, uh, yeah. Basically, if you, if you rob these chests in this room, you get everything that, uh... is normally on the shelves, which is neat. But I've found that I can just wait here in this back room. This is the back room where the alchemy table is in, at his business. And no one checks on you. No one ever finds you here. So I've just been sitting in this room for a week because my perks don't make sense anymore because I can just, if, if I stand still, I don't ever use up energy or nourishment. So I don't have to go get food. So in this realistic game about realism, I, I've been standing in one room for like two weeks now. And yeah, it all disappears when you rest, which now we know that this game does not have the... They did not take the uh, Bethesda route of having absurd amounts of resources that it keeps track of. Like, oh, you dropped shields there 17 hours ago? Well, they're still there. That's not happening. Ah, uh, they're not. They're not. They're not on the shelf this time. I can't show you the trick. When you lockpick these things, I don't know which one it was, but one of these, if the if the if the if the, if the shelves are fully stocked, all the stuff on the shelves disappears, which is neat. By the way, very hard locks are jittery as fuck. I don't know. It's. I've, I've said before how it's got to be like basically impossible to uh, lock pick on a controller, but this is key. This is king levels of that. Unless they massively, oh, unless they massively rebalanced it hilariously for controller or something. Because holy shit, which does raise a question for me because I did lock picking felt impossible for me on my controller, but maybe it's because uh, I'm playing. That's no, just just to steal all. I don't know which stuff will count as not stolen. Hey, I got it. I got all the stuff I needed. Oh shit, the guy was still awake. Not supposed to happen. Sometimes I could, sometimes the one guy is still closing up. Oh well, they're not very observant, and my lock picking is basically silent now. Even when I mess up constantly on these very hard locks, so it's not really a problem. I'd almost feel bad. Oh yeah, the original reason that I started stealing from this guy was because I couldn't talk to him to see if I could buy cockerel potions from him. Because I, I saw them on the shelves everywhere. I'm like, shit, they're literally on display. I can't wait to get them from him. Uh, 
I couldn't buy them from him because I was it was too late for me to record and I was like I god damn it He if you talk to him at all He jumps directly into Necronomicon quest because he's the person you were supposed to take it to and he will not talk to you for any other purpose You literally it's not you don't get the option to turn in the Necronomicon literally the moment you talk to him He takes it from you and uh, You can't bot use him as a merchant and, and then you have to just do, then you have to wait like 24 hours for him to read, and it's like, the game just, just launches into the quest. I'm like, damn it, I'm not recording right now, I can't do the quest. Alright, so we have 62 cockerel potions. That should be good. I got all the, I got all the crap again. I should have just grabbed the, cro the cockerel potions, but some of the stuff doesn't kind of stolen. I'm like, I might as well just keep it. And... Well, I don't feel morally bad about doing this because he just magically rematerializes his entire stock every day. Uh, so it's really hard to care <laughs> that I'm like ruining him financially because it's literally never going to affect his life. I know, I know it won't. Let's not pretend. So many recipes. I've learned all these recipes, by the way. So there's that additional detail. <laughs> I've used these all before now. Oh shit, some of these are worth a lot. I wasn't paying attention to that. I'll keep that one at least. I don't really feel like checking all the ones I already put down. Okay, I'll keep those two. Those are valuable. Even though I might not be able to sell them ever. And my horse is pretty full up right now. Thankfully no one ever checks my inventory. Uh, Because I have a speech skill high enough that every time everyone's like, I need to search you. And I'm like, no you don't. And they're like, no I don't. <laughs> and that's how the conversation goes. And so the clutter begins anew. But here's our massive list of alchemy recipes now. Artemisia, Antidote, Bowman's Brew, Bard Potion, Beevil is Rage, Digestive Potion, Cockerel, Savior Schnapps, Marigold Decoction, Lazarus Potion, Moonshine, Aesop Potion, Resmi, Nighthawk, Lethean Water, Lullaby, Buck's Blood Potion, Aqua Vitalis, Witch Potion, yeah, there we go. Could I have pronounced that one that I didn't pronounce? Maybe, but I'd already pressed right bumper and I knew that I hadn't actually scanned it to read it yet, so I had the moment of panic of like, oh shit, I'm not going to be able to say what this says in time for before the page turns. Hello, don't worry about me, I'm not a thief. Also, I have- God be with you, Henry! You're supposed to have a torch out, dude. You're breaking international, I mean, local law, you're breaking laws. How dare you? But anyway, my recipes, some of my skills are way higher now. Did I get some alchemy? No, you guys saw that when I read, when I tried reading that one book at one point. Herbalism's already catching up with horsemanship, because it just goes that fast. Man, I'm, yeah, I don't give up shit. Pickpocketing, I could see leveling up in a different character or something if I didn't care about my reputation in areas, but I do. Uh, and maintenance, I'm not really interested in leveling up because that minigame sucks. The shitty minigame. <laughs> I don't want to play that minigame ever again. It's so not... It's so aggressively not fun. Oh no, my horse has all my stuff. It's my favorite game, the clothes changing game, because I was naked for the stealth. This game needs to have sets, how are there not sets? Are they, how How is this not like the most requested feature, and how has it not happened yet? Like just on a basic level, you gotta think about like, this game would expect you to dress one way for conversations where you're gonna negotiate with people, which you can't even say... You can't even argue like, well, they just intend you to make get shiny magic armor that's pretty, which some people have actually said before. Because there's an entire quest called The Clothes Make the Man, where the game literally introduces the concept of how you should have sets of clothing for talking to people. Specifically, it's built into the narrative of the game, is that feature. But then they also are like, also dress differently for combat, also dress differently for stealth. And I'm like, okay. I can't wait to see what snappy mechanic you put in place to make this not a giant pain in the ass. And they're like, nah, shit. I just put something away, didn't I? No. Damn it. I hate this. I hate, I hate it. All right, I'll put away a blue. 
Uh, this is a mechanic they put in here on purpose. And just thought, like, it'll be extra fun around hour 60 when they've been doing it over and over again. It'll only become more fun. Yay! I'm just so confused. They knew their game was long. They knew we'd have to do this over and over again. Ah. Uh, and now I'm overweight. There must be some other crap that I need to put away. Well, some of these would be a good start. There we go. There she blows. But also, with the one exception, is that's a cosmetic item where I don't have an armor thing for that slot. And maybe I never will. Not sure. So now we're good to go. At long last. I can't believe that the game's built that way. Alright. So yeah, now it's been like a week. And yeah, you bet your ass they said the trebuchet was done a long ass time ago. So <laughs> we'll see if the war has like already happened behind my back while I was doing that or something. If, if so, my bad. We're just gonna warp up to Talonburg. And if the... If the war already happened, and I failed somehow, then I guess we'll just load back an old save, and I'll just... Fast forward until the trebuchet is done, and just not do the potion quest, because it's probably optional anyway. Obviously, I don't want to fail the entire quest for the potion thing, but also they shouldn't be making one poor Henry solve every logistical problem of a siege single-handedly? Like, what the fuck? I was previously saying, oh wow, they keep making Henry do everything because Radzig just has this, just this hard-on for the idea of, like, making Henry the most badass knight ever because he's his son. I'm like, okay, sure, I get it. Yeah, whatever. You're, you're grooming your son to be a knight. But he's not in the picture now, so at the moment that became... Uh, an excuse that I kind of saw as being kind of valid, maybe. They immediately threw away the excuse and then went even harder onto it, making me the most vital man ever created and fit in the history of anything. To ha do every single duty single handedly when the father figure that is over obsessed with giving me duties is is gone from the picture. So now it doesn't, now it makes less sense in both directions. Well, there's a lot of people just wandering around. I, oh, I know those are the patrol people. They're probably gonna make sure that there's nobody's leaving. So now it, it, it stopped to make- it made less sense in both directions at the same time. Because on one hand, the guy that explains what's- why things are happening this way is gone, and on the other hand, they're making- even cartoonishly more heavily leaning on the thing that was never realistic to begin with. And I thought the premise of this was that it's supposed to be a, a more realistic take on this kind of narrative, and it's like, you're just one foot soldier in the grand scheme of things, and that you're dealing with things bigger than you can handle with, and it's so realistic, and then it's like, no, JK, everything depends on you, and you're the chosen one, and you have to solve all of our problems. I'm like, and also you are gonna encounter all the villains in single combat, and shit like that. I'm like, what the f- Were- did they look at their own game when they said those things? Are they sure? Are you still asleep? Dude, the sun's up. How long did people sleep back then? Is it because they don't have enough food in their diet or something? Or like... Is it like some historical fact that people slept for like 12 hours out of every day? When apparently the sun's only down for like 6? Because damn, it's, I have trouble sleeping when there's any light. I have questions. Up oh, there. He got up. Oh, uh, you're going off to take a piss? Henry's come to see us! How are you? What is your impression of Master Kieser? Sir Hanush thinks he's insane. As crazed as one of those dung-smeared fools reciting the New Testament backwards in the street. But what do you think? Sometimes I think a little craziness is no bad thing. Master Kieser's seen and lived through a lot in his time in foreign lands. And those rockets he was talking about. It all sounds like the babbling of a madman. Maybe. And I'd like to see them. Shooting off. Screaming through the sky like comets. I'm sure they'd be a sight to behold. Okay, you guys keep hyping this up. I'm gonna be mad now if it doesn't happen. This might help. And there's plenty of it. 
There certainly is. I'll have to get all those poured into a keg. But if it works, I'm in your debt. I just want to make sure we get rid of those bastards holed up in the castle. No more than I do, lad. And to see Istvan hang from the highest tower. I'll drink to that. Well, I would if I wasn't on duty. Here's what a word. Oh, don't be a dick. Here's where I revealed that I also was doing research on the subject and trying to figure out context about this quest. And I found uh, a relatively universal looking bug report where everyone was having this problem where apparently if you have 60 potions in your inventory, there's no do there's no option to hand them in. You need to have 61 for some reason. And what they also said is that he doesn't take them from your inventory. So let's see if they fix that. Nope, I still have them. I still have them. <laughs> oh. Test your game. Just just test your game. You can't even be all like they don't you can't expect some indie Kickstarter studio to have the resources of a triple A testing company. Yeah. No, because these aren't fringe things. These are literally the most basic quests in the mandatory storyline. It's the mainline quests, and they don't make sense on every- like, almost every single one is broken in different ways. And you just hope they're not broken in the ways where the game literally doesn't work. Because some of them are broken in ways where you literally can't beat them until you wait for a patch, which happened to me in that they broke that one quest where you need to talk to charcoal burners because the charcoal burners would literally just the quest just wouldn't start so the quest dead ended and i had to wait for them to literally change the state of the game in order to continue the story or how when i go to pestilence there's an entire building that they tell you to go to where every time you approach it it crashes every time 100 percent of the time uh and now there's a thing where if you if you bring the correct number of potions, you won't have a dialogue option to turn them in. And even if you do turn them in, uh, he doesn't take them. Which is like, what the fuck, man? Not to mention the one where they were like, Here, give me 3,000 groschen. I mean 30,000 groschen. I mean 5,000 groschen. What? What? I don't know if there's been a main story quest that went off without a hitch. Right from the beginning, it was like, you should go find a horse to go to that town that's miles and miles away. Then I walked a little bit and teleported there, and I was like, what the fuck? Ha what? I was looking for a horse. Like, that was the beginning of the game, the first time that the goddamn leash was off and it was already breaking, and it's never fixed itself since then. <laughs> it's been fascinating. I'll remind you, that was also the day where I went... I walked around in some rocks and flew 30 meters horizontally across the landscape and died via physics and had to restart the entire mission. Uh, that's at least a weird- that's an example of a weird fringe thing that, like, you might not catch in testing because you don't have AAA stuff. In fact, AAA people don't catch that kind of stuff on a regular basis. That part, I'm like, sure, fine. The only reason I rail on that physics glitch death was because of their stupid save system making it way worse than it should be. Because a normal game would be like, oh yeah, I'll just load my save from 30 seconds ago. Or 5 minutes ago. But in this game it was like, start the whole mission over because we hate you. <laughs> Alright, let's see this trebuchet demonstration. So that we can have another exciting war where there's like 10 combatants. <laughs> And then we keep smash cutting to new loading screens so they can load more combatants. Let's see how strong those walls are. Let it rip! Uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time.
Move. Move. God damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish. Sir, they're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic? He's surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to settle with him. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many, and they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished, just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Tamper. It might just work, but we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. Part in the battle, sir. I wanted to go with the Scalitz men. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander, but many of the men will be from Scalitz. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. But... that is... I was a little surprised to find that they were ex firing the trebuchet at the town. It's mainly because the quest calls it a trebuchet test. And it's like, yeah, they're they're literally they're testing the trebuchet. I didn't, think they would, I didn't think they would test it by firing directly at the castle. I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But, sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scalitz men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to Rete. Find out from Sir Divish what well you have in the defense. I could lockpick, but who cares at this point, though? Sitting on your horses, playing dice and swilling ale. You were sadly mistaken. Havel Medic is bearing down on us with a band of goat fuckers. <laughs> and if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talmberg, is that we defend the honor of our goats. <laughs> All right. Now Welcome, to business. Henry. Get ready in the ravine before the bridge to Rovna. We'll drain their blood. Oh, man.
At this point, it's been working that way for like three months now, right? So like, we just have to assume that that's their intended use case. They wanted all of the dialogue to play that way in the most manic, insane way possible where everyone's just yelling at you everywhere you go. Even breaking scenes midway through the flow. That has to be the intended way these scenes go because they keep uh, not changing it. Let's go off. I have seen no reason to hang out. I'm gonna stab this shit out of some dudes. Bitwink. This is safe. <laughs> Badass McHorsington, you can do it. Yes. Oh shit. Ill advised. That was the top of the quarry. Whoops. The horse can't carry anymore. That's fine. Thankfully, a horse has these dudes. In here somewhere. Hang with me for a second here. They thought not to give me any sorting options, so I have to find items one at a time. Uh, eat. There we go. There's 13 more where that one came from. It would have been considerably more if I kept all the ones that were stolen. Speaking of which, let's not bother with those. Wait, I might be able to move those to horse now? Yeah. Hello. Goodbye. God, I, I, I have, in the last week or so, had hundreds of marigold decoctions in my inventory. And in fact, uh... I w so I wasn't wrong about the narrative continuing to have an, an urgency to it, like, oh no, tomorrow another thing's gonna happen, like, it's always what's happening. There's a specific timeline to everything. It's just that the supposed thing where the story goes on without you and you fail stuff if you take too long just isn't true. It's only true a couple of times in the game, and then the rest of the time, it's magic. we're right back to the magical logic of normal RPGs. Despite the fact that they made you afraid by pretending that would happen. Because this is a good example of when that should happen. <laughs> but the game waited for me to sit around in the back the back room of an, an apothecary for like a week or two. Objective, hold. Joke's on you, I don't have control of my character right now. Oh no, an army of farmers is coming in to get us. Not yet. If I live through this day, I swear I'll take my yarn to the altar. The Kumans are so badass that even their farmers are soldiers. Oh man, they changed the gear fast. Just a little longer. Look at their armor. Damn it! Mother They were expecting us. First troops to the bridge. Break through! Vanguard! To the left! And the rest, come with me! We'll flank the bastards! Hold. We got spotted. I've got them. Yeah. I got that guy. Oh wait, am I using good ar good arrows? Do 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 that one. The one that's good for ruining armored people. Got him right in the shield, all according to plan. He sure looks engaged in this war, doesn't he? I like how he's standing there in a passive stance. Oh no, these arrows are a minor bother, like mosquitoes. Oh shit. Oh, he, re he remembered to fight. There we go. Got him. You dead yet? God damn. Dude can take an arrow. There's so many arrows in this man. There's so many arrows in this man. Hey you, buddy. Fight. Oh, is he are we doing a fight fight? Oh no. 
that guy died, so next in line's coming up. Oopsie. I missed. Oh. I cannot tell where my where my reticle is even now. I'm still trying. Hello. Hey, you noticed me for a second there. He's very staggered though. Oh, that guy's dead. You can take impalements really well. Has anyone told you about like most likely to survive impalement? Was that your like your high school nomination? I'm just kidding, you can't I'm just kidding, you can't read. Are you healing my arrows or something? <laughs> nope. Ooh, look at- oh, that, is, that wasn't a kill. Ow. Oh. I'm gonna go behind him. That'll be easier to- oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> you guys broke file. <laughs> they got him. And I got him. <clears throat> on one hand, I'm trying to raise my bow skill. On the other hand, I feel like I'm less likely to murder my friends with the bow than the sword. We're just flailing away. I feel like I'm just gonna... I'm just, they're just gonna walk between me and the enemy and, and get stabbed. Quick, stop being farmers so I can tell who the enemies are. Shit, well that didn't go well. Oh, well it didn't go well for him either. Wait, who's attacking me? Oh, that guy. Uh, okay. Uh, quickly stop. Oh, I didn't even help with that one. <laughs> I didn't even fire one arrow. That was over fast. Is there a leader? Oh, what? This boy. You should show a little more respect. Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. <laughs> oh, now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric. Toth's captain and right-hand man. Oh. Finally. Some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. <laughs> he turned into a farmer. He's a main character and he turned into a farmer as he ran off. Hey, Horsey. Horsey. Why don't you guys press your horse button? Where did you summon your horse? Ow, oh, Jesus! What the fuck? You never do that to me. Why'd you? Why'd that happen? What the? You never do. What the fuck? Pebbles, the the fuck's wrong with you? What the? F Nothing's happening. It's an empty road. What the fuck is this nonsense? <laughs> if you're gonna artificially be like, you're not allowed to use your sword, your horse right now, then I'll oh great. If you're gonna artificially be like, you're not allowed to use your horse right now, then just turn off my horse button. You've done it before. You need need some help, Robard? Best leader that ever was. Entrusted all of our soldiers to you, Mister Awesome Robard. I thought Robard was supposed to hang back to guard. No, that was Bernard. Just got, I've got to sprint, I guess. My horse doesn't work. It broke my horse. Uh, can, can you unbreak my horse? Unbreak my horse. We can't rely on Robard, so we need we need you to come through for us all, Pebbles. <laughs> Fuck off, Pebbles. Fuck off. There's no reason for you to behave that. There's, this, 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 this isn't even a war right now. There's no people here. There's no grim grizzly anything. There's no lightning strikes. There's no, like, wolves. Like, 
What the fuck? The horse just throws you off no matter what, because reasons. There's two better ways of doing that, which is to disable my ability to mount the horse, or gasp, disable my ability to summon the horse if you want to do a dumb cinematic moment where the mechanics artificially turn themselves off for no reason, so I have to run somewhere on foot. This game shouldn't even have stealth sections or a save system like it has if it's going to have not have like a rule set of mechanics that are always consistent all the time. It has so many weird broken things that change whenever they feel like that they can't do that shit. <laughs> uh, you're an enemy, I think. Yeah, the leather. You look poor. Die. <laughs> That's literally how I tell. They're like, oh, what is that? Some modeled leathers? Come on, none of you can pass through this level that's a mandatory story mission that is the basis of this. It's mandatory. And all of the officials in this, all the important characters in this game are currently stuck on bushes. Three months after the game came out, and this is the state of one of the main missions. The big siege they're so hype on. This is like the most- this is supposed to be the most dramatic, epic moment of the game, and it's like... It's like it's a fucking parody of itself. Oh, uh, hey, so Robert, you got here somehow. Ahead of me. You teleported ahead of me. That's fine, everything makes perfect sense. I'm so immersed right now. Next level, immersion. There's all these immersion mechanics, like how I have to eat sometimes. And that means it's realistic and immersive. And you stop that. In the face! <laughs> Ow, rude. I'm a bow user. I'm a bow user. I'm a bow user. I missed. <laughs> you think it'd be easier to aim at point blank range? What the fuck? How am I missing so much? That's incredible. It's okay, guys. I got him with my piercing arrow. I'm a bow user. <laughs> I'm a bow user. <laughs> Who knew that was the most deadly weapon in the in the in the medieval times is to just point a bow at somebody at point blank range in their in their eye hole over and over again. The damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot? Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik. And he bought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very, um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son. And then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. How is everyone else not immediately thinking of the hostage exchange? I'm the one who suggested that idea? I thought that was why we grabbed him. 
That was weird. You're just going to sleep right now? Aren't we kind of in a situation? <laughs> they just attacked us. Holy shit. He's like, well, it's been three sec. It's been 30 seconds since the last war. Nap time. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of impressed. It just doesn't phase him. So, what are we? Is the plan to not use the trebuchet at all? In which case, it sure is convenient that, like, our our mastermind villain with the perfect plan we cannot defeat has a gay lover that happened to show up just conveniently to get captured with seemingly no losses on our part. And now we have, like, the perfect thing we needed. Uh, they're gonna have a bit of a quarrel if they ever see each other again after how much this guy just fucked everything up for the enemy. Stop talking or make your peace with God. Do your worst. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry! Just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that. So Ishtavan ended up in his service. What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas' allies. You! That was the successful answer? Of a, of a convince, of a, like, a convince you to talk to me option? Weird inclusion. How many men does he have in the castle? Enough to thrash you all. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has? that stops you from attacking. He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will for your own sake, because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me, and he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavis. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand! For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him, but it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand, and he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Well, Divish. I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hanush. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Did none of the characters suspect they were in a relationship with each other? That's literally the first takeaway I had when he didn't use any of the honorifics or whatever of rank when, when talking about his lord. I didn't even need dialogue to show that. <laughs> Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. 
And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Mm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. I guess we'll just start then, yeah. That's all there is to do. I've got my arrows and whatnot, right? 33 arrows is not a ton. I always have my sword though, so I'm not that concerned. He ended up saying exactly what I was saying, which is that now that we have a hostage, we're actually kind of free to attack as much as we want because he won't harm his hostages because we have our hostage. And so basically both hostages should be kind of safe. And the battle can just kind of happen. Or at least as safe as they're ever going to get, because really, this is like a no right answers thing for everyone, including the villains who are just sitting there in a castle alone, like, oh, this isn't, this isn't going anywhere, shit. <laughs> no other floating thing going on around here, right? It's just the talk to him and that's it. Yep. All, both quests are talk to Divish. Alrighty then, I will do just that. I'm glad you came. What the fuck is aha? Uh huh. And it seems you're glad to see me too. 
I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. I, I did not understand the context of that. It's like, oh, you have a time limit to choose between I'm at your service and some kind of confusing sound? I'm like, and it had it ended with a dot dot dot, and dialogue that ends with dot dot dots and, dot, and RPGs usually have follow-up dialogue you can choose. So I was like, oh, does... Is, is Henry gonna, like, diverge into some kind of side thing of, like, some piece of intel he found that he hasn't mentioned yet or something that he thinks is relevant now? No, he just grunted. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that's, like, one of the only times the time limit shows up in conversations. What was the purpose of that moment? Weird. It's so weird.